Yeah, g'day, mate. Yeah, how you going, mate? Yeah. How you going, boys? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll bring myself back to equilibrium. I was just expressing some, yeah, I was just playing around, you know, and stuff. Just letting it out, you know, non-judgmentally, non like a meditation. And then restabilize. Okay, yeah, so. <clears throat> Hooks, 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 hooks. So, so hooks, you know, how do you, um, how do you train some really good hooks? So, so yeah, you know, I see a lot of video, I see a lot of videos of people getting into fights on the street and, and, and a lot of times it's, it's just people defending themselves, you know, that, uh, that this happens, that. And I've, I've, it's, it's happened to me before, you know, when I got into a couple of fights, um, I wasn't much of a fighter, but I did get into a, a couple of little, little fights, you know, and um, your whole body just tenses up. You, you, you got this idea in your head because you, you saw Neo do it on the Matrix, you know, when it, I oh know, it, it happened to Neo, you know, and the, the guy's just like, Dish, 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 dish. or I don't know it's it's just it's in our consciousness I don't know maybe it's because we came from we came from apes so we liked it's you know we we you know you feel that really that torque coming around and you feel that yeah this is a good way to use power you know so it's quite I guess you know it's quite natural for a, for a homo sapien uh, for a, a hairless monkey uh, you know, to um, to try to emulate that, but how do you, you know, how do you do it effectively, you know, um, so that you can really land enough hooks to, uh, you know, to, to save someone's life, you know, or, or save your own life, defend yourself, you know, if if uh, if the uh, most efficient way is is a preemptive uh, attack, you know, not just not just defending yourself, but actually, okay, I'm gonna go do a preemptive uh, attack, and I'm gonna. I feel like I want to go with my hooks, you know. So how do you do it? How do you develop it? You know. So Tai Chi principle, you know. Tai Chi principle, the Kua, the center. You know, you have to develop the Kua. This is something very important in order to be able to issue. Uh, as the maximum amount of power from the ground through your, you know, to the to the opponent, through your whole structure, you need that kinetic chain there, and you need those those uh, lines of connective tissues needs to be trained in the right way to be able to support your hooks. So, with that in mind, okay, with that in mind, the center line, okay, and the qua hinging in this region here and the whole leg following so that there's no twisting none of none of the twisting force is is being sacrificed you know into a knee and just no you've got your center established through the feet the qua and you you know how to get you know the maximum amount of force to the hands from the ground okay so you need to be at that point or at least you know understand how to get there before being able to benefit from this kind of hooks training, you know. So I'm sinking down. I'm hinging in all of the joints, loosening up in all of the joints. Sinking down. And uh, the important thing is that you need to be able to go right back to natural again. So here is, you know, you're chambering, you're chambering, you're loading the, you're loading the, you're pulling the bow back, and then, and then, 
back to nothing. So the faster you can you can go back to complete natural again, from chambering to here, through the punch to completely natural. If, if you can do if you can do that, you're gonna be uh, you know you're gonna be, you're gonna be putting those. Um, you know I, I I hope you don't have to do this, but you know if, if your life is, is uh, in danger and you have a righteous uh, reason to, to do, use this method then um, then that's how you develop it you know you have to let everything go Yeah, so it's, 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 that's pretty much the topic today, you know, is just using the choir, training the connective tissue line, and letting it all go, okay, don't, don't keep any tension, let it all go, especially when you train, you may, some people may like to, um, you know, uh, talk, talk, sorry, twang, twang the tendons, like, you know, like this. So you're actually stopping it there and you're talking it and twanging it back and yeah but remember that's a training method you know in a real in a real situation you would just keep the keep the you know fist strong of course and the, the joints aligned but you would just you would just let all that energy straight into the target you know you wouldn't you wouldn't twang the tendon like that because you're keeping like you're, you're still having like probably 40% of the power that you could have just released into the target. You're still keeping that in the body by by twanging the tendons like that. So it's okay to you know train like that. But you also have to just completely let it go. You know after you do that kind of training because. Yeah, I feel very hesitant to to engage in that kind of thing. I I do it a little bit, you know, and then I practice releasing it all, releasing it all totally out of the body, and that's very difficult to do, you know. So be careful how much um, how much of that kind of external uh, training you do, you know. Just keep the balance. Keep the balance.
Okay, so here we go. I got a bit of video footage that I can even look at myself and and uh, use it for uh, reflection and you know look at my movement, see what I can improve. <laughs> 